Hello friend, this is Dharmendra, Senior Security Engineer at WebSert. Today I'll show you how we can decrypt SSL traffic on BKP using an IRU when the cache is disabled. And if you want to find out how we can um, do a decryption of traffic when the cache is enabled, you can look on my other video. Okay, so before we start, right, I want to uh, just uh, talk about RFC 5246 a little bit. So that RFC says when SSL uh, SSL session caching is disabled, the server returns a blank session ID, okay? Uh, which means in a scenario where the cache is disabled instead of session ID, uh, client random will be required to correlate the session secret with the actual session for decryption, okay? Um, so, uh, yeah, we need to keep this in mind. Okay, let's uh, quickly go to the GUI, see how we can do that. Okay, so I already assumed that you have a virtual server, I'm just configure this SSL offload. Um, so I'm using client uh, SSL to as demo one. Okay, let's um, go to this profile and check if the caching is disabled. Okay, for that you need to uh, go to configuration section and change basic to advanced. When you scroll down, you will see cache size is sealed, which means caching is disabled. Okay. So the next thing we which we need is IRO. Let's create an IRO. So the IRO which I'm going to use is also available on my platform. And um, key article for that is K12783074. Let's totally create IRO. Demo. Okay, so what this IRO will do whenever there is a client handshake. Okay, it will look for the site address 10123989. Okay, and if it matches, it will print the client random as well as the client will Okay. Let's apply this item to the virtual server. Okay, so we have applied this. Let's go to the CLA. And um, then we'll initiate the traffic and capture it. Great So this is my client machine, and this is the VIP. So first thing, let's um, start the packet capture. Okay, so I'm catching the traffic for my virtual server on three. Started it. Now, let me initiate some traffic. Okay, so we have captured one million data packets. Stop this. So as I mentioned, that the information will be not in one of the data bits. Let's check that. Okay, so we have the information captured now. Okay, so let's um, pull out that information and move it to a um, PRS file. Okay, so for that, uh, you can grab it and the uh, file required. Clear this first, then. Okay, so like this, we have moved the information to the PMS line. Let's check that. Okay, we have the part information. Okay, now let's see if we can decrease the drop. So, I'm going to use T shirt to come with T shirt command and I'm going to read them all the PCAP which we have um, collected. Then I'm going to apply this PMS file using minus old SSL key and SSL law file and what on that file. And then I'm going to check if I can see anything related to SQ. 
Okay, so here you can see I can um, see a decrypted traffic or virtual zone. And if we remove this PMS file, we should not be able to see the traffic for the decrypted Yes, so here I'm not able to see any traffic for 10, 1, 2, 3, any dot under. Okay, so we were able to success successfully decrypt that traffic here. So this was the information which I wanted to share in this video. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in another. Thank you.